back in the day, I was really like a hyperactive kid. It was really hard to handle me, kind of. So when I was five years old, my mom just gave me to this kind of training group of, uh, of BMX. And right after your first training, I knew that this is, this is what I love, this is what I want to do. I always watch this, uh, watch this uh, E.T. movie, you know, where is this kind of like uh, alien and they are riding there on the BMX bikes and jumping and doing these eggs ups and, and one footers. I was like, yeah, I want to be like that. It's so cool. When I was six years old, we couldn't afford like a, like a, the best bike out there on, on the market. For me, it was amazing motivation when my mom always told me like, hey Tom, if you do good uh, in six months at the European Champs, you know what, we're gonna get you a better bike. You mean bike from USA? Yeah, you can get the bike from USA. I'm gonna make it work, someone like. And my mom was, I was just, at that time there was no internet, but if there would be internet, I would spend my whole days just searching on the internet for the best bike, but at that moment it was just in the catalogs and in the magazines, and I was looking at this bike that I won this. For me, it was like a big motivation, and, and she knew uh, how to motivate me in this way. She gave her like personal life to Thomas. All the money she earned, she gave back to the bikes, to the racing and to the getting to the races. She did a lot of work for Thomas being a person he is now. It's an amazing lady. <laughs> Even though I'm 34 years old, I'm still this little kid who is uh, doing stupid things, but I really enjoy every second on the track. I was living my whole life just with my mom. We didn't have that much money for sure. And she still was the kind of mom who was like, you want to be the best in the world? I'm going to try to give you the chance to do it. So, so it was, it's really impressive from her side that she really made it happen. <laughs> Whenever I come to my hometown, I see all the memories. Tam bylo, bylo startovalo, tam nahoře. Jo, jo. No. Jako ti to stálo za to, že když prostě jsi musela půjčit jako peníze na kolo a musela celý dny se mnou cestovat a furt jsme byli na závodech, jestli to jako bavilo, anebo jako co tě jako k tomu táhlo? Jako? To mě stálo za to, protože mě to bavilo s tebou jezdit. <laughs> Ten, takhle, to ti řeknu k tomu, že jsem se třeba o tom víkendu ocitla v takovém kotli, kde se jo. fandilo jo, všechno jo. a přijela jsem zpátky do Brna za šaliny a to. Jo, no. Tak. To, to mě bavilo. To mě taky baví. No. <laughs> vlastně já jsem v tom kotli do teď furt tak dělal. No. Tak to aspoň, že ty jsi aspoň přes ten internet někdy v tom kotli. <laughs> tak jo. Já už tady normálně dělám tohle, ne? Snad jdeme <laughs> rukou, tyhle. I am pretty sure that the position where uh, where he is now, it's I don't know 80, maybe maybe even more percent uh, because of his mother Dana. She is doing for him so much, and I am sure that he knows it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ty vole. Má dobrý ty vole. Dobrý guy, ne? Ty vole, dobrý, ty vole. Kaš? To je paráda, ale už jsem ani nemám papíry. Tady teďka. OK. <laughs> how is how important have the sacrifices been for you you think like for your career here we don't talk about career here we talk about my life i think it was it was the most important thing for my life what can i say here it's just like without her i wouldn't be here sitting now so influence of her big deal <laughs>